Uh, we're going to get this started. Susan, are you on? Can you hear us? Sorry. Yep. I got you. Got you, got you. Okay. Okay, looks like we have some public out here. Does anyone have anything to say? No, I'm on the agenda. You're on the agenda? Okay. Answer. Not, not, not to give you too much crap, but you got to start by saying meeting started, right? Okay. Make it official. Call a meeting to order. Call a meeting to order at 601. All right. Thanks. Let's get technical. Um, changes, et cetera. Yep. So the additions are the townwide reappraisal and uh, speed Thanks. screen motor. You want to talk about your motor right now? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. So last last year I came to the board for our sand screen for the time belt, which damaged the uh, valve in it. We got a price of twelve thousand nine hundred thirty-five twenty-five for the engine. And I got a quote last year of thirty-five hundred. I think it was thirty-five cents. So we can't fire. So I'm looking for a purchase order or whatever. Matthew, do you want? Oh, you got a coffee? You got it. Yeah. Any questions? Where's your your budget? Is is this we you have the money? No, not this is not income out of your maintenance. Okay. What do you have for sand put up right now? Yeah. Who are you gonna have to do the repair? Well, I had a. I guess I'd like to have a definitely solid number for the repair. Just because that thirty five hundred, if it turns in five six grand, it makes it a little. The bigger. engine is good for today. Okay. Or he needs a check before he orders. Yeah. Which is not going to go on for a while. I don't need to get no, next to it. Seven hundred dollars since last fall. Mm -hmm. What's the time frame I'm getting at? Um, Come on, man. Yeah. We we need it for our roads. I mean, it's a double edged sword. I can tell you, I just price I'm dealing with this at work. I can tell you the rental, a monthly rental is more than this. So it's not like we're going to get away from it. If the screen's at 90 something, right? 2000, 99, I thought. Looked at it last year, I thought it was 99. Yeah. yeah, I think it's. So if we get 24 years out of it, you're talking $500 a year, that sounds pretty cheap. So we just got to talk with Jen and find out where we're going to get the line item from, right? Did you talk to her at all about it? She Well, do we want to make a motion to move ahead? I think so. If it's 
you know, expensive to rent it. Um, we need it. I know previously we talked about talking with our neighboring town, but are we going to be in the same boat? I don't probably, I don't know. I guess we can make a motion to move ahead, but I'd like maybe Mark to make that phone call, just talk with the neighboring town and see if there is any interest. If it's a lot cheaper, just make sure you exhaust that option. Yep. And do we want to do a not to exceed for a mechanic? So I'm fine with that. So giving him $500 over this, if we, if we go $17,000 not to exceed, so make a motion to go ahead with it. <laughs> pending, pending we talk to Jennifer as well. Whoa. Right. I, I just want Jennifer, I, I want her to see where the money's coming from so we know where it's going to come Yeah. That's my sake. Okay. She's joining later, so we can talk about it later too. Do you want to repeat that motion? I'll make a motion to approve a purchase of 17000 not to exceed $17,000 for the motor and repair of the screen. Pending Jennifer's suggestion on financial Budget. All those in favor? We need a second. Oh, second. Oh, Jesus. Oh, second. Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Susan? Yep. You here? Okay. Anyone abstain? Or say no? What's the thing? I'm so nervous. Can you tell me? <laughs> My God, can't do this. All those in favor? Uh, okay, aye. thank you. All those opposed? Opposed. I was getting ready to say that. <laughs> I'm starting over. Okay. Is Susan the gal of she Yeah. Nice. She was on there. So. Okay, we need to approve the minutes from February 27th and March 6th. I'll make a motion to approve the February 27th, but I got to abstain from the March 6th. Okay, we'll do the two separate I, ones. Yeah, I have to say, I wasn't here for the 27th, so. I'll make a motion for the 27th. Okay. Second? Uh, yeah, I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? I'm abstaining. Okay, and then March 6th. Do we need to fix some things here? Yes. Okay. Maybe you want to explain? Um, the reporting didn't catch the motion to elect the mayor or vice chair, and there were minutes in person, so we need that motion to be okay. made. So I, oh, or, you want me to just say what it was, or do you want to read it? Or you can amend it, or amend the minutes to reflect the motion. Yeah. Amend the minutes to reflect the motion. Or something else. So we should amend the min the minutes. That's my recommendation. Yeah. To state that Chastity Fan was nominated as chair and Susan was nominated as vice chair. Is that what we need to um, make the amendment? I nominate, I nominate chair, uh, Chastity, Susan, seconded. And then I nominated yeah. Susan and Chastity second. Savannah nominated Susan. No, Savannah nominated yep. Chastity. Both of them. Seconded the vice chair. Chastity. Thank you. And then you have on the next page. Oh, the adjourned. Yeah, and the and the asking that I'm the problem, which you can um yeah, we need that action. I need the motion. Write it down. I don't know what it is. Um, so you can trust him. Yeah. It was just Yep. Mm -hmm. 
What we get with that? Thirty. It's just the backdated one. Yeah, is it backdated to just the pay period that of this meeting or the meeting before? Like what pay period? The sixth or the twenty? Oh man. Look at the calendar. March first is a different pay period. Oh. Oh, we wrote. I wrote effective. Oh, March fourth. What we said. Oh, it was right here. Good job, Good job, Kind of. And who made the motion to second it? I made the for that. Yep. I made the motion. I second for that. Okay. And the adjournment. I I move to adjourn. <laughs> Maybe second in that because you were because that's you could yeah. make it you could do a yeah, just like your first that. one. Yep, yep. Thank you. And that's it. And so motion to approve the March 6th meeting minutes as amended. Yes, I make that one. Second? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Same. That's the same. Susan? Yes. Thank you. Sleeping on the beach. <laughs> okay. Appointments and slate of officers. So we need to make the appointment for the energy committee. Who is going to be um, Robert Tina? Oh, okay. So that's who you are. Okay. So we need to make a motion to appoint. We do. I guess you want to have us say anything before. Would you like to say anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Possible board. That's right. We need uh, so I'll, I'll make a motion to appoint. Okay. Second. All second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. You're here on your own free will, right? <laughs> Please didn't hold no knife to you or anything like that. You came to our meeting yesterday. <laughs> um, and then we have an interest in the solid waste uh, representative, Maurice Brigham. Um, he had reached out to Kim Moulton um, and is interested in the position. And was he, we weren't sure if he was going to attend. Not sure. Okay. I just added Kim, um, oh. Jen, and Tori Hellway. Okay, perfect. Kim, do you have anything about Maurice? Was he going to join or did, did he just want to be appointed? <laughs> Oh, I can't be doing it. Okay. Want to appoint him? I'll make the motion to appoint Maurice for the LCSWMD representative. I'll second. All those in favor? Seeing in favor, saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? We have a solid waste wrap. Okay, and we're gonna so we need to finalize the state of officers. Um oh maybe Kim can clarify delinquent tax collector. Kim, are you there? I am. Can you clarify the delinquent tax collector term for us? So um before it became appointed, it was 
elected annually at town meeting in 2016 town meeting, I think it was. Um, it was voted to become appointed. And so the term has remained one year because that's just what the select board was appointing. Um, I, at my conference today, some other Vermont clerks were talking about that and their towns have also have their treasurer be the delinquent tax collector. And they've gone to appointing the delinquent tax collector to the same term as the treasurer. So you can continue with one year as it has been since 2016, or because it's now an appointed position, the select board could change it from a one-year term to a three-year term matching the treasurer's um, term, which my term is, my treasurer's term, I have to be reelected next town meeting for a clerk and treasurer. Any thoughts on that? <laughs> so we'll just leave it as is. Leave as is with the one year? Yep. Yep. And we need to um, remove Mr. Anders from the Finance Committee. And other than that, everything I think is good. Does anyone have any questions about it? Vote on them. So that looks good. Then, yeah, approve the executive officers as amended. Yep. Because we added the two new ones tonight. So they were already on here. Right. So, but um, we appointed them officially. Yep. Yeah. And the amendment would be the removal of Norma Andrews. Motion. I move to approve of the slave officer as amended. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Second. Oh, whoops. Jesus. <laughs> See, I want to move along. <laughs> Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, opposed? Abstain? We approved that. All right, Savannah and Heath. First, second. Okay, lovely grants. What you got for us, Brent? <laughs> yes. The the is that? First. How are you? Hi, I'm Lisa Clancy, the Hyde Park Energy Committee. And, um, Municipal Energy Resilience Program. Tori from LCPC is online. She and I have been working together on this. Um, as you know, I was appointed the point of contact for this grant um, a while ago, whenever that was. And we had energy assessments done on five municipally owned buildings or all the buildings, well, except for North High Park for our department. We didn't do that one. Um, we had energy assessments done by the state of Vermont or by their consultants. And um, I wanted to pass out, the, I, I think we shared a link that has the entire energy assessments. They're each about 50 pages long, so we didn't print them. But um, what I did print for everybody was um, uh, part of the assessment. Would you like one? Thank you. Um, and if you look at each of the pages, they're by building. So down in the bottom right hand corner, the top one is municipal building, then the fire department, town garage, uh, the library, and the bottom is the Dion. Um, and the way it worked was uh, they came in and they did their assessments, and then they went back and did these reports. And this part of it was was what they were recommending that could be done to, to fix things. And if you look over um, up across, they're talking about their estimate of how much it would cost to do something. 
which we found to be a little nebulous. Um, and then the amount of, um, well, the, the energy savings or, or the energy usage are in the other columns. And the, and the last one would be the, last one would be the energy savings if you did this aspect. And the, and the payback period is, is um, based on how much the grant, it's not actually costing us money to do it because the grants, there's no match. We're just getting a grant to do the work. So the payback is is um, is a formula, but as the energy committee looked at all of these, we we paid a lot of attention to the payback as if it was our money, right. because in the long run it really is. Mm -hmm. um, but I also want to hand out this that simplifies it quite a bit, um, and it you know, pass those around. Um, these are our recommendations after having poured over them for months, uh, and Tori was was helpful too. So um, the, the the top one is the municipal office, this building that we're in here. And as I think the employees know here, um, they've been wanting better ventilation of this building since COVID. And the um, energy assessment recommended um, two options for HVAC in this, um, in their report. Uh, for this building, uh, both of which we're not really sure about whether their, their prices were accurate. Um, and what we'd like to do in, in all of these cases is to actually get an estimate because this is like pie in the sky and we want somebody to come in and say, yeah, this is what this building needs and this is what it would cost. But in, in the case of what they're talking about, they're talking about heat pumps. Well, they're they're not going to pay for us to put a new propane or any kind of fossil fuel in here. That's not what this grant is going to pay for. So we're looking at getting a quote for HVAC in this building. Um, that would be this building. And, th and they also recommended, and the Energy Committee has been wanting to have some in-town um, uh, electric vehicle charging. And out here, this is park and ride, and we want to get um, a price on that as well. So the next steps and what we're doing for, for each of the buildings is to actually get estimates. Even though they're here, we want to, we want, we would feel a lot more comfortable applying for the grant with real numbers. So that's the municipal building. We'll go real quick. Um, the fire department, um, we're looking at, you know, we can't do everything that they said for every building. There's not enough money in the grant, right? So we had picked the ones that we thought had good payback period and good total estimated annual cost savings. Um, looking at changing all the lights to LED, um, which is their recommendation here. And the big one there is the, there's um, lots of air leaking through the doors. And so they had recommended these air curtains uh, and as well as air ceiling. So I guess it's a two part process. Mm -hmm. The um, air curtains we're guessing are maybe $5,000 per door. That's the way we looked at it. Um, and I actually don't know anybody locally who's gonna be able to give us an estimate. We might need to go with those estimates that they gave us. But once the grant opens and Tori probably, she knows that we want these, buildings and grounds might, I mean, we're not the only fire department in the state that needs these. And so buildings and grounds will have a pretty good idea about what those will cost. Um, and then uh, as well, a heating system for for that building as well to upgrade it to um, what they want. And in that case, they're not talking about um, air heat pumps. They're talking about, in this report, they're talking about a, a ground source heat pump where you're you actually drill down or you you do baffles underground um we'd probably drill down just because there's not a lot of area around there where you can't drive over so um, i don't know that might be expensive we'll find out um the library is the same way that um they they want more <laughs> ventilation in that building since covid it's a lot has been done to that building already it's pretty well buttoned up um, but they do have single pane windows everywhere. And that would probably be a lower priority from, from all of the aspects that we were looking at here. That would probably be the bottom because the windows are 
doing okay. And then um, in the Gion, uh, there's no insulation in that building. <laughs> the building is 36 feet by 70 feet. It's enormous. It's uh, three stories above ground and on a full basement. Uh, brand new roof on the whole thing. Brand new windows throughout the building. It's beaut. It really is. I had never been in there before. And um, so it's enormous. The, the first floor is in great shape. Uh, they've done a really good job. They've got two heat pumps that can cool and heat that um, a little bit, not enough um, without insulation. So we're basically talking about insulating the building and we're gonna get um, an estimate. They're, they're working on getting an estimate for that. The basement is leaking water into, um, through the walls are just stone and they're not, it's not a solid foundation. So that might be really hard to insulate because it's, but they're gonna just see what that would cost. So the next steps would be um, for us to get these uh, estimates and we'll get, so we'll put real numbers on these things and then you guys get to decide the priority. Yeah. And um, hopefully we'll, you know, we're gonna get, uh, I don't know if you could put us on the agenda for the next meeting. We only meet once a month now. Yeah, yeah if you could put us on the agenda for the next meeting, it would be nice if we could have some numbers for you by then. But if we don't, it'll be the following meeting. Um, because we want to be ready to go when the grant opens and they don't have a time frame, but it'll be pretty soon, hopefully. Great. What's the total number on this? Well, the most you can apply for is a half a million. Um, but Tori, what do you think? You... I I missed his question. <laughs> what how much can you apply for? Oh yeah, you know, you got it up to half a million um per municipality and the program prioritizes um, high energy burden towns as defined by the 2019 Efficiency Vermont Energy Bird Report. And in that report, Hyde Park was uh, classified as high energy burden. So you'll have a pretty good chance at getting um, an award for some projects you guys are interested in. But, but, we pro but you were saying that we probably don't have a very good chance of getting a whole 500,000. I, yeah, I mean, they had hundreds of buildings assessed across the whole state. And although that's the upper limits of the grant, I suspect they'll spread the money out across the state a little bit more. How much was the total amount that the grant had? Do you know? Um, they had about 36 million total for um, implementation grant awards. Yeah, we're not going to get half of them. <laughs> so we'll have to prioritize there you go okay you go. Well, thank you so yeah. much for that thank you. okay come on up i can all go small <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> okay, so I've got a few things to talk about. This is a not in Hyde Park update. So the first thing is that um, I don't know if you know this. These guys know this, but we applied for this winter um, from the Fish and Wildlife for a watershed grant. And the maximum you get is 10000 and we got a $9,000 grant. And this is for the project that... Um, uh, the Green River culvert replacement project. Remember when you were doing all that work, we we talked about the knotweed there and how it would be a good idea if you pre-treat for the knotweed before the infrastructure project so you'd minimize the spread of knotweed. So um, anyway, lo and behold, we got this grant and it's a two-year project for you know, hiring a licensed applicator and treating the knotweed at that site. Two years is probably not going to do it all, but because we applied for the grant in the middle of winter, um, we weren't able to take the licensed applicator, Morrisville Water and Light, Brent, Mark, French, all up to the site to, to have a look. It's quite difficult terrain if you know it. And so I don't know how viable this all is, but we will know within the month probably um, when the snow melts, we'll go up there. And I need to sit down with Brent and look at how we coordinate that. Cause it's, 
it's kind of a lot for us to take on, but um, it's the right thing to do and we got the grant. So um, we want to try and do it. Um, and if you're interested in knowing more of the details, I can send you a copy of, of the proposal, but it's essentially, um, uh, it's, it's mainly a herbicide treatment of the knotweed, partly this year and partly next year. Some of it is maybe pre-cut, some mechanical control in places we can access. Um, yeah, that's that story. Um, and I'll come back to that because it's related to something else. But you remember last year we did the pilot at the end of the season of the seven sites around town. And we got a permit to do that. It's a new permit that the state started last year treating in the right of way for, for terrestrial invasive plants. <laughs> and so we would need to get a permit. So so we don't we don't know whether we need to do a follow up treatment this year because we haven't been able to see how successful the the treatment was. However, the state's permit deadline is the first of April, which doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, so for the watershed grant, to the extent that the herbicide treatment is in the right of way, some of the knotweed is in the right of way, which would require the same permit. Some is outside the right of way, which doesn't require a permit. So I'm not quite clear how all that works, but the point is that I will need to apply for two permits, potentially needing one for the follow-up of the pilot, potentially not needing it at all, and then for the watershed grant, potentially if we can proceed with it. So what I need, if, if it truly is a deadline of next week, is what I need is to I'm working on those permit applications, but I need somebody to sign them. So like Friday, I don't know how that works and who can do that for me, but last year, Susan was the chair and she signed it, but I was here with the permit at a meeting. We can, we can, we can appoint Grant to sign it. I was going to say, cause I'm not going to be here. So <laughs> perfect. That works for me. And it's a very simple, it's a very simple permit application. It just is who's going to do the treatment, how much, uh, volume and mass is, on, is um, uh, relevant to it and what chemical you're going to use. And it will be just like last year's. Okay. So I'll work with Brent on that. Um, so that's those two things. And then the, the, one, the one of them, Garfield, are, are you going to need traffic control or anything like you guys, that, that's, a, that's a wicked tough site. It's it's a very tough site. And, I, and I've and i got to talk to Mark on that. We, yep. we did not put in for um, having flaggers because that was super expensive. Um, and I don't know, maybe you'd be interested in coming up when we do the site visit and, and seeing what we're talking about. I mean, there isn't, we're not really going to need to be in the road. Yeah, you're behind the guardrail, but yeah. Yeah. Only because we're worried about health insurance and people and stuff. Too. Absolutely. Your guys', is, your guys is safety. That's it's a nasty. Absolutely. Place. And well, actually, it won't be so much ours as the licensed applicator. And he's going to be the guy who's, this is Red Start Consulting is the one we've been talking to. They're, they're very good, highly regarded, do a lot of invasive work. Um, I've met a couple of the guys on the crew, great people. But they may not feel that it's something they can do. And so I really, I'm, I shouldn't say any more because it all depends on what the people doing the work think of at the site. But it is definitely an issue. Um, the fact remains, even if we don't do anything, Mark French and his crew have to do yeah, something right. about the knotweed. Right. That's what I was wondering. I would just work with them. I, I don't know. Maybe they could assist with flagging. That might be part of this yeah. process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we can also access the site from, um, I think there, the other piece of this that's complicated is I think there's a USDA financed repair yep. happening. And I've got the guy's name, we need to coordinate with him. It's sort of on this side of, anyway, you can access this way. So it's not like you need to stop the road, right? But anyway, I take your point and it's 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 hairy what, <laughs> what we're thinking about. It's a really smart thing to do if we can do it though. That's the good sure. thing about it. So so I'll keep you posted. Great. Um, so the other thing we're trying to do this year um, that I haven't mentioned to you is we'd like to hire somebody for the summer, a college student or somebody a part-time um, to do 
some of the work that we've been doing as volunteers and just so we can scale it up and do more. Because as I've admitted, we haven't had gazillion volunteers coming out to help uh, do the work. But um, anyway, so we've we've had a few uh, applicants. We, we think we've identified somebody who's good and we have the budget for it. Uh, I've talked to Jennifer about it. We have to we have to raise some money to to make it fully viable, which we've committed to doing. Um, I think that's that. And this would be a part-time employee for 12 weeks, 20 hours a week, maybe something like that. So about $5,100, partly in this fiscal year, partly in next fiscal year. So there's that. And finally, um, the what we don't have, and this is money, uh, is if we use our money that we have in the budget for the part-time employee, what we don't have is anything left in the budget if we need to do a follow-up herbicide treatment at the seven sites from last year. So conceivably we could fundraise for that or try and find some money, but somebody mentioned there was still some ARPA money out there. And I don't know whether you'd have 700 bucks <laughs> of spare ARPA money to put on the list because, and, and again, some of the sites won't need treatment probably because some of them were quite small. They probably did what they needed to do last year. We could mechanically control what remains, you know, but it, I think that that cost us $700 last year, 700 and something. Okay. So if there's scope for a little bit of ARPA potential contingent budget, that would be much appreciated. And then lastly, uh, the goats. I don't know if the goats are coming back. I hope they are. The last time I talked to Dan, he said they would be coming back for the summer, but there's a big pile of contaminated soil near there. And we've used the balance of our ARPA money for the goat project to buy some recycled uh, vinyl billboard material. Cause you know, we've used recycled rubber roofing at some places, but that's really unwieldy. And this stuff is more flexible, it's, it, but it's, it's supposed to be really good. We know some other people have used it. And so we've had that delivered to the town garage and we're gonna smother that. And that is fully the update, I believe from not in Hyde Park. Nice, thank you. Very much. Any questions? And we're hoping that Nicole is going to work with us on a little patch uh, over by Clark Drive, but they have a lot going on too. So uh, anyway, okay, perfect. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. We do need to make a motion to oh. appoint Brent to sign her permit, though. Please. I'll make a motion to allow Brent to sign the application for terrestrial invasive plant treatment for purposes other than right-of-way clearance. Wow. What she said. What she said. Yeah. Get all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> second. I'll second that. All those in favor, say so by by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I have a question related to that. You said that Garfield, is that slated to get changed, that culvert, that radio? Oh God. <laughs> I, I won't know. It's not slated. It, it's it's under the design process and analysis of that whole. Yeah. Five years away. Oh, years away. Yeah. I, I, I don't want it. I won't. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I guess we're actually it on that one. Okay. You're closer than okay. North Bay Park Fire Department. I suppose that's why you're here. I guess that's why I'm here. I think these guys, I don't know, there's a big confusion on the bathroom project. I don't know what to want to do. You might want to come up here so Susan can hear you. Can you hear Brent, Susan? Lamp here? Not very well, no. Yeah. Folks do need to go up there. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just here because of the confusion on the bathroom project. I don't know where it's at. don't know what you want to do. I pretty much all but shut it down. I'm confused because I thought there was a vote here to go through it. I got the email from Susan to move forward with it. When I talked to Jen, Jen didn't have a clue on how we were paying for it. So I've got three companies pretty much sitting on hold wondering if we're going to do the project. What's the problem with the vote? 
status of the grant is is when I finally was requested to go get with Eden on moving forward with it, they were supposed to come back to me uh, to let me know if they needed my assistance or not. I, I, I offered my assistance. Uh, didn't hear anything back when I finally did hear something back. And I think that was a day or two before Brent uh, contacting Jen was after looking and getting all the material that I needed was there was less done with the grant process moving it forward than, than we initially thought. And then after looking of uh, the added hours that it was going to take to get the grant done and then uh, prepare for a joint uh, public hearing, we would have to not only give it time to be published for the public hearing, trying to organize a joint public hearing with Eden and y'all, but then that would have to be all, that would have to all transpire five days prior before we submitted the application. Time frame wise, that did not allow us enough time to, to move forward to give us, to see if we could get this funded through the grant process. Okay. I just think it was the, the stars, unfortunately, were aligned the wrong way and we just missed our shot. Yep. So, and, you know. Okay. 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 And Susan, can you clarify? Yep. We had, oh, I, and I'm, sh I'm sure, Brent, I feel like we've been talking about this for about two years. Um, and, and that, remember, um, Sterling was talking about doing something with emergency and we know our fire department is talking about coming in with needing to make changes and to, and to do it. And we talked at the time that this is exactly the sort of thing that ARPA money is good for if you couldn't get it any other way. And then we talked with Eden and I think we may have talked about that when we were, when off the, off the record, maybe, um, when we were up at North Hyde Park th this year and Eden didn't have any more ARPA money left. And that's when they got into, well, we'll, we'll write, we'll do a grant to look for the So we said, oh, you know, okay, um, that, that'd be great if somebody come up with some alternative money. And now that's fallen apart. And to, in, in my mind, as, as I, if I was mistaken, I apologize to everybody, but conveyed to Brent that, nope, since the money wasn't there, we know this is a project that needs to be done. We know we need to have emergency places for folks um, that we'd go ahead and and, uh, and we'd get this done. And we were teasing about if, you know, maybe we'd charge Eden and emergencies to come in or something or other, just, you know, teasing about it. But that it's a... Uh, it, it's a classic project that needs to get done that is perfect for our funding. If if a grant had been able to do it, that's again, that's always great. It leaves more ARPA money for other stuff. But so so in all that and and um Brent way back when he was looking for people to do it, and I think it talked about with with a lot of grants, but certainly with federal money, trying to find three people so you have quotes. And we've several times Remember, we had to do it with the library, even if it's just um, you ask people and they can't do the job they aren't interested in. That's sufficient. They just the feds just want to know that you haven't just, oh, here's, you know, going on the assumption, here's somebody's uncle. So we gave them the grant. Um, so so anyway, I in my mind, it was clear that we decided some time ago we were going to go ahead with this project. And when the grant money fell through, that it was perfect for ARPA and that we had talked about that previously. So if that if that's an error, then it's on my part and I apologize. OK, so. Yeah, one other thing I wanted there was a little bit more to that discussion, because I think if you recall, we were sent at the North Park Fire Station and. and Eden broke the grant for the air packs. And we had already voted on getting $33,000 to Brent for the air packs. And one of the conversations amongst the boards, I remember Susan asking Eden if they had ARPA. And then I remember Susan saying, well, and then Eden said, well, we just got that ARPA, we just got that fund, that grant for the air packs. So we're getting back that 33,000. So we, softly as a group said, well, if this needs to happen, 
we're giving that 33,000 back that we didn't expect and we already voted on. So that would go towards this. That's what I remember. Yeah. yeah. I, I My memory is not good enough to be honest, but, but I do remember there was a conversation and I, I wish. I remember it, it came back down here because I sat here, we talked about it because I talked to you the night about the jobs, the same thing. Right. The question was asked about Eden. So I went the following meeting Eden had, which would have been three weeks later because you guys were on the same one. They had said that it was all done and it's right back December right here when I had emailed you and said they said they don't have the money. No ARPA funds, which was like December. So then when I let Susan know that, we all knew we even didn't have the money to go in on it. But I know it was talked about right here in this room. How much is the cost of the bathroom? That's a budget number. That's a budget number of 58,000. And that was the other thing I remembered is you guys were going to prove an up to amount so that you right. knew it could go over, it could go under. And that's how the whole question started last Thursday with Jen was, as I was filling out the permit for the construction permit, what did you approve up to? Because that sets the permit fee and how are the bills going to get paid? <laughs> Do I pay them? And then you reimburse me, or did you want the bills here? And that's when Jen pretty much said that this can't happen. Well, the only issue is, and I don't mean to interrupt y'all's conversation, is I believe if it was high park funds, I, I think going up to, we could do. The only situation is we're dealing with federal funds and the control and transparency of those quotes need to be verified because Unfortunately, it's not going to be North High Park Fire Department or anybody here as individuals being held responsible if if we allowed if the bills come up to 57 and there were 60 allotted, where did that difference go without being returned or re reassigned to something else? We have to be transparent on it. That was the only reason why me and Jen talked about the quotes. We need the quotes just to be transparent now that, that was it it wasn't trying to delay anything nor did me and her know about the permit process or anything like that it's just pure transparency because it's my responsibility to make sure we're both transparent and giving the money to a very well deserved thing that needs to happen but we have to be transparent about it now if it if it was just if y'all had the money in y'all's budget, you could override that because in the purchasing policy, y'all have that right as a slave board. In this scenario, you might have it, but I do love you. All I'm really asking for is just the quotes for transparency because it's going to be me and Jen dealing with the auditors when it comes. And if they ask, hey, we see this is allotted, we want to see everything associated with them. And that's just my concern. That is all. Not so, trying to stop so, movement at all. So, Brent, if in the event, this is just a lack of knowledge on my event, in the event he gives a quote, because mm -hmm. here's what I know will happen. If he's an outstanding individual, he's going to do some of this on his own time, and yes. we're going to get charged less. Yes. What happens then? We just we just show them here, quote, and then here was the actual bill. Is yes. It, okay. I have something, if you would like to hear it, mm -hmm. from the... December 12th meeting, um, some paragraph. The Hyde Park Select Board discussed the bathrooms at the North Hyde Park Eden Fire Station and the total construction cost estimate is 56825 The estimate includes renovating the two bathrooms and making one of them ADA compliant, upgrading the electrical and fire alarm, and adding another bathroom with no shower. It was noted there is a 100% grant to cover the air packs that the towns of Hyde Park and Eden have already paid for and the $33,000 checks from each town will, will likely be returned, and it was suggested to use those funds towards the bathroom renovations. Roland Boyer, did I say last name wrong? So I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> stated there is a consultant that can get all the prices and it will cost approximately $3,000 for a service. Now, just to stop you, that goes on to the town department. Right, that's what me and yeah, Jen right. talked about. There's a line in there that was right. get drawn. Because that Stowberry is looking at the building aspect in the town. So you're going to go off like two lines from there, and that's where North Lake Park stops. But that $3,000 is a lot of 
the way it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but that, that's only for him planning the town right. building. That's nothing to do with that. Oh, the few thousands for the town. No, right. no Jennifer oh. correct me. Jennifer right. will correct me, but with the thirty thousand dollars being in a specific line item, we just can't take that money. Yeah, she, that she, line I'm item. reading that. So she wrote she wrote in her financial statement, we cannot use the thirty three thousand for this project as it is intended for fire equipment as previously discussed. I think I, again I would have to ask Jen if we can reallocate that but i don't she would she could educate me if it's for equipment yes okay but i think this is a total fair situation being being the way it is that i would recommend and and i would and pretty much move with the arpa funds on this as long as i can get quotes and we can move forward transparency on the administrative side. So that's why I said to Jen, I've got the quotes here. Okay. The, the three right. bids that total that piece that I brought down with the 58,000, all three added together, yep. roughly quoted numbers. Yes, sir. Somebody was up there. That's and and I would I would assume if we use using ARPA funds for this, that the bills get sent to the town and we pay them. We don't move the money to North Hyde Park and that sort of thing. They would just send us the bills. Right. right. Which is what we suspected, but that was because right. Jenny yeah. didn't have a clue about it, so we couldn't make a decision. Or if you're waiting to do the grant. Jen, do we have the ARPA funds available right now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My concern is the quote that um brent gave to me is just on their like letterhead it's not itemized at all it's only one um right. it's not from the individual companies i don't know if brent brought that i asked no, him so to that's provide a, it so that's what i had that's what i wrote for susan to give to the board okay so yeah, i don't like i don't know if it was ever given no, and it was because when I had talked to Susan, she needed a price. So when I took all these, so that's your carpenter, that would be your electrical. And then this was from the plumber. So this was essentially everything total to come up to this number. Oh. Right. Brent just gave me the, here's what it, the whole cost is. That's how we came up with what it looks like it's going to cost to put the bathroom. Right. And then same thing, talking with you. I've talked to three people already about doing a recall because you wanted the three prices. Right. So I've ended up with one letter so far that basically states that, sorry, I don't have time to do your project, so I'm not going to give you a price. Um, no, and this, this is just fun. Yeah, I mean, no, I know, and that's why I'm trying to, we were waiting for this one. I've got one other one actually coming from Stowberry, who's the guy that's looking at doing the town renovation, and he's saying, I don't have time to even go look at your building, so he's going to send me one. I just need you to tell me as soon as you can what you want to do, because the carpenter comes back from Jamaica April 2nd, he wanted to start April 3rd. It, it's gonna this is a regulation that's required by us. So just so everyone understands right. the, the back the backstory, we did come to the fire station and said, Hey, this this seems like a good place for us to put these. So yeah, this is like I like I like how Brent's mentioned it. how do we need to so we need to just a point if we're gonna have a certain amount of money or go out. I mean, I would rather, I'd rather in this situation, we have quotes already submitted for $56,825. Yep. Say if the total bills come to 58000 Yep. In this scenario, I'd rather wait until the bills and y'all can approve the increase since you already approved the initial quotes. The government's going to understand increase. that the increase is 6 8%. <laughs> Yeah. Is is on on the well, shelf. Side. That's the thing. You look at the dates on those. That was when we started in 2023. Yes. Nobody so knows. I'd rather I'd rather move forward that way. Yeah. Again, and then we'll take care of the bills. Y'all decide either to approve or deny moving forward with the ARPA funds, and then I think all the bases are covered then, so we can move forward. Perfect. Do you need to inspect for it? We'll take copies of it. back. I would like them back. Okay. I'll, I'll copy it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. When I get the other one, I'll forward it to nobody. So, do we want to make a motion to use our phones? Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. 
Is that Susan's? Yep. Yeah. Susan, you want to make the motion? Well, yeah, yeah, we're, go we're going to get this done yet, Brent. <laughs> so, so is it agreed that uh, we do up to the 58, or is Brent suggesting that we just do the 56, whatever it is? The 56, 56. age 25. <laughs> okay. That, that we uh, approve up to that amount with ARPA funds for the North Hyde Park Fire Station improvements. Second. I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Perfect. So if Jen's on here, I'll ask one other question. <laughs> now, that you've, now that you've done that, the, the permit be for the firehouse was Seth. It was 520. They are holding the paperwork down there until the outcome of this meeting because it has to go by mail. So we actually sent a check for the $520 for the permit fee for the construction fee. Would you rather write that check as part of the ongoing bills you're going to get, or do you want to reimburse them down the cash line? Can we write it? What? What did you say? She wants to write it. She said, "Can she write it?" Rather than reimbursing. Yeah, no, because I'll just tear the check up and throw it out. I'll tell them to wait. They, they've got it sitting on their desk down in Waterbury. Oh. But I don't. They don't have to cash it. I can leave this with the bill, and I can go call Sean now. This is the bill for the permit. If you wanted to write your own check oh, for it, you, she, you could leave that for Jen and she could write right, a check because okay. I sent them the copy. So now I don't have a copy of this. Okay. I might probably clear. I might be able to pay it with the credit card too. I think so because they have a copy of it. So yes, you can pay it with a credit card. He told me that because I could call him, but because we wanted to get the permit started, which can take up to four weeks. He's going to push it through because he knows the situation. He had to have the check to go with it. But, uh, I probably should, but I'll call him tomorrow because it should be sitting on his desk. And I told him, don't do anything with it till we talk tonight because we didn't know if we're going forward with the project. Do you want to call me, Brent, after you make that phone call? And I can get in that paper with a credit card online tomorrow. Yeah, no, no, I'll call you. You guys okay with that? Yep. Yep. We got one more item for you. Oh, now I get to go to work. work on this. On Jen's finance memo, North High Park East Fire Department truck purchase project was completed on 10 10 23. There was $1,003 spent on legal fees for sub recipient agreement number two. The overspent this obligation. We need a motion to cover the expenses of legal fees for the sub agreement of one thousand and three dollars for the project of the North Park Fire Station Department. So we bring a total obligation of fifteen thousand and three dollars. Again, this will come out of that equipment fund, right? No, this is for ARPA. It was already paid out of ARPA. So we allocated fourteen, so we need to extend that to fifteen thousand and three dollars. Yes. Please. So, so can wait and do that and do all of our motions. I just don't know if you want to keep that with the North Park stuff. Oh, we can. It's like a mess here. So, so. I guess I missed it. What is it? Uh, back when the town, when we were the us and the town met, hmm. remember the 28000 we split for the truck? We approved the 14000 of our fund. There are some legal fees that came through with that. An extra, an extra thousand and three dollars. Is that? Am I reading that right, Jen? Yes. We just need to extend that line item to fifteen thousand and three dollars from the original fourteen thousand. It's okay. It's nothing to do with you. Yeah, he's, I, I was he's just. just no, I'm just <laughs> keeping it in the North High Park. It's, it's easier that way. And then he does know. We have it under the finance. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Skipping around back. I just read it. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, this is. <laughs> Thank you, Brent. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. Uh, Good job, Brent. Wonderful night. You're welcome. Jen, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow once I talk to Sean.
Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh. Newport Ambulance, you want to come on up? Thank you, Brent. Hey, Roland, your chair's open tonight. <laughs> <laughs> those that don't know me, I'm Scott Boiswell. I'm on the board of directors of Newport Ambulance. And we are here, all five towns, the budget was approved for the fiscal year 2425. So we're here for the signing of the contract, the FDO one contract signed at the auditor's request that have all signatures of ourselves and all five towns together. So once I have that completely signed by everyone, we'll get a copy back to you. Perfect. All right. I have that with me. It was sent earlier. Hopefully someone's verified the funds that we're asking for. It's in this town meeting. So I just will need someone to make a motion in a second, but someone finds us. Jen, did you verify those funds? I'm unsure of the topic. What do what do you need verified? Um, number five, Newport Ambulance Service action item. What we're asking for, we had asked Hyde Park for one hundred and thirty-four thousand six hundred one dollars. Um, that's in our contract. So just want to verify that's what was passed at town meeting. Oh well, the budget passed. Yeah, yeah I'll just yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> yes. hopefully the, the numbers the numbers match. Hopefully the numbers match. I don't have my town report. Um, it's online. Mine's in the car. There must be one upstairs. Yeah, in the car. So we did a motion to. Let me double check. I believe it. I do as well. Yeah. I'm gonna make a motion. Do you have me sign this? Yes. <laughs> Second. Uh, second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Oppose, abstain. Susan. There you are, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Any questions or concerns? Scott, yes. can, what was that budget amount? One thirty four six zero one. Okay, it was approved for one thirty four six zero two, so we're all set. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, we get, must be another yeah. town got more than we did. We have. <laughs> yeah, you don't even get to buy a coffee. <laughs> we have to shut down. We know why. <laughs> but it is just to let you know. Um, this last quarter has been very, very tight for the rent presently in the old contract. Um, 911 calls are down this quarter. Transport's about the same, but where we're really getting hit hard is insurance companies are doing everything they can not to pay today. Yep. Everything is getting shot back, even if we have all the proper information and just are trying to make it difficult for services to give up and quit asking for their money. And, We've got a good billing service staying on top of it, but it's making things quite tight. I think we sent you a comparison what you're paying for capita to other towns. We're doing our best to keep your costs down and we'll continue to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Take care. Okay. Lamoille Kennel Lease. Okay. Oh, I have that for us. <laughs> So they changed the price on the yearly lease, um, but it's a good thing. So it was 25,000 and now they're looking at 30,000, but that includes heat and air conditioning. Cause we were looking at doing a whole replacement of the heating system and air and everything. So that's gonna save a lot of money. Okay. So they also wanna do like the bare minimum to get us up and going, which I agree with. Like let's just, we've talked about this long enough. Let's just move forward with it. Mm -hmm. um, so our responsibilities, so the 30,000 we'd split between all the towns that are interested in doing this. But then our responsibility to get it started is a door, fence, the air purifier, like stone inside the fence, the fence, uh, I said the fence, beds, a keypad, and then a sign um, because they want to distinguish us versus them. Sure. So we're, yeah. Um, all the prices, Allie has all 
estimate prices here. Um, so we're looking at about $4,690. So ultimately, if we said $5,000 for this little bit of stuff, I don't know, do we spend that? Do we split it up between the, the however many towns want to do that? Um, so we're looking at like $35,000, I would assume, split between all the towns. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Um, the one other, so. Have we reached out to other towns? They're waiting for a price. They're waiting for us to like say what we're doing. Um, and there was a concern of like Elmore. Elmore doesn't only get like one or two dogs um, a year. And we were saying like, do it by the dog, but we've got to be careful there because I would say, well, I'm not going to pay you the, I'm not going to split the cost. I'll just pay you by the dog. And that, that could not work out. So um, I think we should focus on the towns that want to go in right now and then see yeah. how that goes. We're talking about one year lease, see if it even works and revisiting it later on. Yeah. Um, but I think we should make a motion to approve up to $5,000 to get this, the signs and all of this getting going. Mm -hmm. um, Allie has multiple quotes for different things. So, I don't know. Um, and then the other thing would be like getting some kind of contract set up with our rules, which I've emailed out, um, but our rules of who's responsible for the dog, who, those little kind of things. Yeah. The only thing that really scares me on this, and I've said this from day one, is uh, once we commit to this, the next dilemma is somebody's going to be coming to us and saying, I've got a lot of hours into this and I would like payroll. And I hate that we're taking on a commitment that's a county commitment without a commitment. So I, I, I feel like as long as we have a commitment from all the towns, then that's great. But I just, it scares me because we have payrolled ourselves with the additions already. The next thing you know, we're going to have a part-time. If, if we're looking at five towns. Yeah. Um, and so it's basically. Grand, right? yeah. yeah. So basically the, what would happen is, is we're looking at, you know, potentially this is just talk, but upping our fees, you know, right now there's not a constant fee. There hasn't been tickets written. So <laughs> Allie would be, there'd be rules. Like you, yes. your dog gets locked up. You have to come pay your bill first, whereas before there wasn't happening. So we would see hopefully some more revenue coming in to cover this, not $6,000, but some. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, we're only doing one year. So if we this doesn't work, we're back to. <laughs> we can create a square one to agree. That's what, yeah, yeah, for sure. For this, I mean, it would just be a lot easier to work with. And then we can readdress it next year whenever the local is signed by all parties. Um, and then they're that. talking about Betsy and Jason. They will feed the dogs. They'll take care of the dogs. They'll walk the dogs. So you won't have somebody going up there a bunch because they don't want to mix sickness if they get a sickness and those kinds of things. Savannah, did you, um, just before I left, there was there was the article about um, about Morrisville um, and whether, you know, were they, because anyway, roads getting plowed, whatever. So are they getting a special deal or are they in? Because that kind of, that uh, could make things difficult. No, I, I think that was true what we heard, but I, they've talked to Allie and they're looking to get in with us. Okay, great. So, um, but you had asked about volunteers. No, Betsy and Jason own the kennel right now. Awesome. And so we would, that would be in part of our agreement is if you bring a dog, please. yeah, they'll feed them. So then there's not food sitting around, just it's all clean and cut and taken care of. So pertaining to the lease and your local, I guess we would be the managing partner. Yes. Yep. And then we'll do the your local with yep. the other communities. And I feel like we need to get this, that, so that we have something to give the other towns so they can say yes or no. Yes. But, but yeah. yeah. They don't really have an option. There's nobody that has options. I mean, I don't. They're in the same boat we are. And then it's our town policy, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Allie called. I was me, just going to say. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. last week and said I have a situation. I got a dog that killed chickens in North Bay Park. I got nowhere to put them, and I was like, well, I'm not my house." Yeah. And so she's like, "But I, I have to go get the dog now. What do I do with it?" And she's like, "Can I put it in the?" 
here. And I was like, Oh, I don't know about that. Um, but what else yeah. do we do? And it, it was seven o'clock at night. Right. And ended up, they found the owner and it was all taken care of, but if it what do we do? I don't know. We get this going. Yeah. And what did, did we talk about money? Where did we say okay. this money was coming from? Oh, we, we don't, we didn't, we say. did not. I don't know we already approved money, money from ARPA for a building. For that temporary building, yes, way back when. So can we can we get that amount because that amount is almost identical to what we're talking about? Yeah, because when we talked about renting that, that's right, that building and putting it up here. Yes, I think right. we agreed to spend six thousand dollars for a temporary building that we were going to basically build a shed and. That's right. It was seven thousand five hundred. It was what seventy five hundred then? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you would need to like amend change, it. yeah, amend amend oh, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's not temporary shelters, but okay. Okay. So let's. Someone want to make a motion for that? I'll make a motion to reallocate the seventy five hundred dollars as previously voted Arpa of ARPA funds to spend on the shelter here versus now on the permanent. One year agreement. I'll second. No. What is that? So it would be 30,000. And then, but so are, we, are we in the same exact boat, Brent? Where now, just we were just barely in the high park, and now we're, we're just given a number versus. No, Allie quotes. has a ton of quotes. Okay, so we're going to go off the quotes. So I just I just said $7,500. So I should. Up. Two. But I don't know if we're going to do the up two, right? Is that what I'm just gathering? Keep it there. If the price changes, it's easier to get more money than having a whole bunch and then a long time lapse. And then there's probably funds still floating around. So, so, so what we're saying, we're probably overestimating is what I'm getting at. Yes. I mean, that's not what you're suggesting to do. No. So no. let's suggest base the money off of Allie's quotes. So then it's three thousand or thirty thousand plus thirty four six ninety. But well, we can't because we don't know if we're having five towns or six towns or four towns. And this, so isn't this just to get started? So ultimately, then what? Uh, uh, because we need four thousand six hundred ninety dollars for all the things to get started, but we'd like to put that in the total price to everybody. Okay, so they break it up too. We pay it and then they reimburse us. Yeah. <laughs> right. When they join yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just start with this for now. Let's just reallocate this 7,500 down to the 4690 for now and then deal with the rest of it later. When we know how many towns are going in. And that still would leave you. So I'm, I'm, I'm speaking out loud. Is it make more sense to take that right off the ARPA? So we vote to, to remove the seventy five hundred dollars completely off the ARPA, Jen, and now we would vote in the new ARPA fund line. Brent, I think you can still amend it, but it kind of gets tricky if you're looking to get reimbursement for it. So, like, if you're going to build the towns, and it's almost like we're making money off them. With our, uh, oh, I feel like it's, I feel like if you're going to build the towns for that amount, you might not want to use it. That that's my suggestion. I could be wrong. Have I think it'd be good to get all the communities together now and give them a rough idea of how much it is and see. If there are an agreement, then we can come up, we can start working towards a you know local to get that done. Yeah. Does it make sense to vote on this one the next month? Like have something real? Like, but that means she can't start she can't do nothing. Do anything until you know we've pushed it off enough. I know we have. I know. Just put the bill for the forty six hundred. Well, yeah, and that's what I was thinking. I mean, we had already you guys well not wait because I wasn't here, but you guys had already voted on seventy five hundred. Right. But it's from right. Like, I this know. Could be so I'm saying, why don't you just agree well to pay the 4690 to pay for that stuff and not worry about it? You had already voted to pay 7500 
4690 is less than that. Just put well, that, that bill and get it done well, with, and then just let the other towns. The, the, the 7500 was for the full year for everything, not including this. I know, so don't worry about the 30000 Just pay for the startup costs of like the signs and the Yeah, the no, what I'm saying is that 76 when we voted on that, this took, that took care of our whole problem. So that was easy yeah. to vote on it now. Or, but yeah, I'm okay with it. And then just vote on, worry yeah. about the 30000 later. Does that get you what you... I want... What we should yes, Ali started. wants. Forty six ninety. Right. <laughs> okay. Because you know other towns are going to go in on it. The, the next question is going to be, where is our portion of the 30000 Yeah. Which yeah. We already knew that was coming. Yeah. yeah. So, because so. if you take... I mean, there's going to be $2,800 left for the 7500 I just, I'm going to speak it out loud and say my only reservation is if all these towns drop out and we're stuck with a $30,000 bill scares me. I don't think they're going to. Okay. Well, Memorial has a huge problem. Yeah. yeah. It's an Are issue. there any other choices? No, there's no one. No. Yeah. No. The only other okay. choices were what we had voted on earlier was buying that shed and yes. keeping our own Wait. personal. So then we have yeah. a, a very cheap thing, but and just dealing with just the town of High Park now. No. Yes. Right. Yeah. So we have a motion and a second on the table. So we need to get rid of that, it sounds like. Um, so all in favor, none, and all opposed, <laughs> yeah. And we go into a different motion or we have to withdraw the motion. I'm not exactly sure how the problem is. What was the motion now? To spend up to 70. Let me ask it to a spit paragraph. <laughs> Motion made by Matt Moran to reallocate the temporary shelter funds of 7500 to 4690 to the permanent shelter funds of the of one year agreement. That's what we want. That's, oh, yeah. what, that's, that's exactly what we want. want. Yeah. That's what we want. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what we want. Okay. <laughs> so to spend, yes. to, to spend to get the shelter going. That's Correct. essentially what that's yeah. for. Yes, to get right, the shelter gonna, up and running. This is a startup, one time startup fee. For supplies needed to get the shelter. It's the right. rights of leadership. There you the go. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? Okay. And yeah. then I just have one little tiny thing that okay. just an FYI. So again, Ali asked me, um, they there was a dog situation in Wolcott. Dogs got rehomed all over the place. Somebody in Hyde Park took one of the dogs that needed to be spayed. It got spayed today. Um, Ali had this. So we give Ali. A, or the ACO, sorry, we give them a budget, or they have a budget. A stipend. No, oh, okay. they have a budget for like oh, for vet or neuter. something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we've never spayed or neutered a dog before with the budget. Um, and so that, that question came up. And I talked to Kim, and we kind of decided like Allie has the budget, however she chooses to suspend it, yep. is kind of her as long as she has receipts and those kinds of things. But it was a really good deal. Wolcott covered half of it. Uh, Sequest gave us a 20% discount. So Allie went with it and decided to get the dog spade, which I think, and we, oh, but we had to pay half and it comes to like two or $300 all depending on, it was on their weight and a couple of things, but I think that made the most sense. So she was all worried about it, but she should be, I think. I money. She's got a budget. I don't yeah, have her exactly spend it on not weed, so. Yeah. Okay, the clips update. Moving along. <laughs> Way perfect. <laughs> Eclipse update. Who's got that? Do you have that for us? Yeah, so on um, the, Last page of your whole packet here, close to it. This is the flyers. The Mount Hyde Park, the solar eclipse is Monday, April 8th from 2 to 4 30. And there's a viewing at the Lancaster Library that Ken and Amy are putting on. Um, uh, Ken, you want to speak more to that, or that's pretty much it? Sorry, I had to get my get back off of mute. Um, so yeah, Amy and I are doing a little thing up at the library. Um, we're not closing any roads. We're just saying that we're going to be there. We're going to do a bake sale. Um, Amy's talking to the sixth grade class if they want to do it as a fundraiser for their sixth grade field trip. And if they don't, we're still going to do it. It'll just be a fundraiser for the library. Um, Ron ordered those tumblers and coffee mugs and those um, postcards. So I'm going to take a bunch of that stuff over to the library that day and a table and I'll sell those if people are interested in buying them. Amy's going to set up um, one of those story walks that she does around the village. So she'll be setting that up and it's a small thing, but it's a little community thing. So that's what our plan is at this point in time. Chris and I talked about the clerk's office hours that day 
and we are going to close the office that day. I don't know what the rest of, you know, the, the, the departments are going to do, um, but we're going to close the office and I'll go over to the library and help Amy get all that set up and so that we're ready for when people start showing up. So that's, that's what our plan is. Great. Okay. Green up day update. I've talked with Dawn Archibald. Um, she's a Green Day coordinator. Um, she will be discussing a Green Up Day event with Tucson's Bakery, possibly having coffee available or something along those lines. Um, she's going to contact them, let me know, and it will be included in the April newsletter. So we have an update at the next meeting. Perfect. And speaking of the newsletter, nice job, by the way. So, yeah, the um, newsletter is in the staff packet, prepared to be distributed as presented unless there are any changes needed. Um, anticipating distributing it at the last Friday of the month. So it will be available at the select board meeting for final review and comments. Um, accepting additions and et cetera to the newsletter until the Wednesday prior to the select board meeting. So that way I'll have a couple of days to finalize, send it out. Um, over the weekend, I send out a draft form only to people who are included in the newsletter so they can let me know so I can have the updates ready for you at the meeting. Um, yeah, we have over a hundred people who have signed up for it. So I have some additional hours, just so you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a hit. It's great, thank you. Nice job. Good addition. Yeah, for sure. Okay, town clerk. Josh, you're running late. I know. I'm trying to move it along here. <laughs> <laughs> Certification of votes. Oh, I'm sorry. If we can go back just for a second. Um, Kim, I updated in the newsletter in the packet that we... No, I haven't updated yet. But the dog licensing will be due on April 6th instead. That's correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Due to the cancellation of the rabies vaccination clinic, I extended the licensing deadline to 1 o'clock on Saturday, April 6th. And I picked that day and time because that's the revised or rescheduled uh, day of the vaccination clinic for Hyde Park. And they're going to be there from 12 to 1. I'm going to be at the office from 11 to 1 to license dogs for anybody who wants to license their dogs. It's not just for rabies clinic licenses. It's for anybody in Hyde Park who needs to license a dog. And at 1 o'clock, anybody who hasn't licensed their dog, it's considered late. And late fees will be added on the next business day, which would be uh, Tuesday the 9th because the office is closed on Monday the 8th. Perfect. Okay, town clerk certification of votes. That's not in the staff packet, but you do have it as additional copy. As you have it as um, submitted by Ken. You don't need a motion or anything, that's right. Uh, no, I think it's an FYI, and there was a change or something to do with how the motion at town meeting was done. If Kim wants to talk on that, speak on that. Um, Chastity, I already mentioned this to you. When the budget was amended from the floor um, for the $2,550, yep. the moderator added the $2,550 to the overall budget, which is correct but neglected to add the 2550 to the amount to be raised by taxes. So what that means is that $2,550 will come from the unassigned fund balance in addition to the $80,000 that the select board had planned on using from the unassigned fund balance according to the budget that was presented to the uh, voters on town meeting day. Perfect. There's no vote needed on that or nothing, right? No, I can add on that sort of No. Yep. So the, the document that you received today, um, I was in a training with one of the VLCT staff.
staff people, staff attorneys, and we were going through like all the statutory post meeting things. And this is something that they're saying is, is mandatory and has never been done in Hyde Park. And I went back looking for something and I never could find anything. And so I just kind of created the document. It's basically a certification of the votes that happened regarding town meeting, um, Australian ballot, as well as floor meeting. Um, and so you'll be getting this every year going forward. Now that I know that it's something that needs to be done. I've never seen this statute or this item within statute. So it was very eye-opening for me and a lot of other clerks around the state. So everybody's starting to, you know, get with it. And there it is. Okay, thank you. Uh, liquor license approval. Someone just needs approval. This is for J and C Bread Company, which must be two sons. Yes. Okay. So just a motion to approve their liquor license. I'll make a motion. I'll second that. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 So aye. I see that there's multiple ones there. I don't have copies here in front of me. Yes, that um. Is. Is it, it might be a first class and an outside consumption permit. So just so that you're aware, you're approving more than one. And I think I highlighted it on the permits. We didn't do this one already. What you did was a third class restaurant. They have multiple licenses. Okay. So this one could be outside for the VFW. Okay. So... Here, we need one for each of those. You can yeah. get one more. All right, I make a motion to approve the uh, what, first class restaurant bar license, the outside consumption permit, and the third class restaurant bar license for two cells. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Interlocal agreement renewal. This is Justin, right? It's tight. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, oh, we also have that additional list on here. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so the interlocal agreement expires on June 30th, 2024. Um, so the towns will need to sign again prior to then if they want to rejoin, have another year. Uh, right now it's the town of Hyde Park, Johnson, Berkshire, and St. George. I had a interview with the town of Sheldon last night, both um, for the interlocal agreement and just as an employee. I let them know that I can't officially assign them onto into local agreement. All the towns have to get together and have them join if they want to join. Also let them know that I'm not sure of my availability and bandwidth, but they don't have anybody. So I figured if I could offer part-time four hours and hire a clerk who can do some basic stuff or something. But yeah, um, there's a few things in the into local agreement to discuss um, and update on being the townwide reappraisal, which is section 1.5, um, whether I can do work under the reappraisal while it's happening. The interlocal agreement right now says that I can't. I took that to mean that I can't perform the reappraisal, even if I was certified or at the part, I couldn't do that. Um, Ron had said that I, that no work for the reappraisal to be done. Under the inter and under the interlocal agreement, at least that was his interpretation of it, including making the RFP, which I did for two different towns. So, have the towns clarify that if they want to loosen up that section or clarify it. Um, also, the pay is to be discussed on that because we had agreed on the first year of my employment, but then moving forward, I'm not quite sure what that looks like as far as like when I gain from level one to level two and the tenure if I get cost of living increases, et cetera. Um, so 
we should meet in May. Um, previously it was Susan and Ron, so I'm not sure if that was those people specifically or if it was chair and town administrator. Um, so you may want to make a motion to appoint some, I didn't have it as an action item, but to um, have a representative of the interlocal agreement, who you want that to be, or two people. Um, yeah, so I'll try to start scheduling and whatnot after we know who to schedule with. Susan, do you want to do that since you were involved in that last year? Yeah, yeah, I'll be happy to have the vice chair do it this year. Yeah. <laughs> and Brent, Brent with you, obviously. And Brent, right. In place of <laughs> Do we need a motion for that? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, I know in the interlocal agreement it says that the town needs to have um, representatives. I'm not sure exactly what that motion or how that how the town appoints the representative. So, but if we're all clear who it is, then move along. Move along. Okay. It's Susan. Do you, do you want us to make a motion to appoint the representative? I would want it. Okay. <laughs> we can do that. I will make a motion to appoint Susan Bartlett and Brent Sheets to be the representative of our interlocal agreement for our assessment. I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Abstain. Hey, Nicole, a year from now, you get to be the one. There you go. <laughs> Accessor Johnson Street extension. What's happening with that? So that's another thing on the, there are easements, it's something along those lines that are needed for the Johnson Street extension stormwater project or grant. Um, the town of Hyde Park doesn't have an in-house assessor. Uh, through the interlocal agreement that's for grantless maintenance, not for grant projects, et cetera. So I have done 1.25 hours of that. Hyde Park got my timesheet, said, no, you can't do this. So they took it out of my Johnson pay. I haven't been paid for it. The town of Hyde Park, if they want to move forward with that project, they need to hire an assessor. Doesn't need to be me. There are other people available. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> So you want to be paid for the hours that you're working on this project? I would like to be paid for the hours that I have done already. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, however, the town wants to proceed. Does Justin uh, have time for this? Justin has time for it. Um, not necessarily, but I can make time. Um, I with what I've done so far, I've added a parcel that because one of them was subdivided. Back up more. Um, so this had started back in like 2018, 20 as an ongoing thing. I had the spreadsheet done. I started updating the spreadsheet, noticed that one of the parcels had been subdivided. So I added that parcel and I contacted John Lemieux from the state. He sent some resources for how to move forward with it. And that's where I'm at. And then the pay thing happened, and I was just like, well, wait. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the pay goes. If you want me to talk about that? I when I've talked with Sheldon, um, I told him that I would, if I'm as an employee, I would like forty-three dollars an hour, which is my thirty-five dollars an hour as the interlocal assessor plus the benefits, which is about eight dollars an hour. So I would like somewhere around that as an assessor as an employee because I wouldn't be getting benefits from Johnson as this, and not sure how. My board clerk position benefits would intertwine with this. So there's that. Um, Terry Savins, my supervisor in the interlocal agreement, when she does assessing through as an employee, she gets $55 an hour. As a contractor, she gets $75. Nimeric, I'm not exactly sure, but they're between $75 to $90, up to $120 or more. Um, I have not done a project like this before. So I will have more time into it. I'm not sure how much more time. So there is that to consider with my lower rate, there is more time. So it might play out in the wash, maybe more, might be less. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put the that's okay. <laughs> but I'm 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 impressed with the part where he's able to keep creating hours. And I, I think we could all benefit from that. <laughs> 
This is the man who works 78 hours a day. Yes, overnight shifts, they definitely help. Get a lot of them. <laughs> so my question is, this is the project that needs to get done. This, right? It's one of them, yes. Okay. So I think we need to figure out a way to have Justin find hours to do this. How many hours, what are we talking here? Any idea? I mean, 25 or 100 or? No, I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> he didn't have enough hours to figure that out. <laughs> I would say with the 1.25, I got the spreadsheet updated. I have the parcel and corrected the CLA. So now I need to probably look into it. Um, I mean, just an estimate. I mean, 10, 20. I imagine taking more than 20. I would hope it'd be less than that. Okay. 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 Did you say something, Susan? No, that's I was, I was thinking ten or twenty, and at the rate of, of uh, what were you suggesting, Justin? Forty-three, if there are no benefits included. Talking a thousand right. bucks, right? Or something that needs to get done. This is this is a no-brainer for me. Me too. By the time you call Memrick and try to get somebody on this, exactly. it's going to take them ten hours to get caught up on the project. Yep. Would you like to make a motion? I've made a lot of them. Tonight. I know you have. Good job, man. Okay, I made the motion to approve Justin to complete this project as the assessor. As the assessor at forty three dollars an hour. Second. I'll second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Hey, Justin. Don't burn yourself out. I know. Yeah. Peace. Okay, Jen. ARPA funds. Hi. I tried to make it stupefied, even though it's really complicated. So, um, I don't know if you want to start with just the Stone Shore Municipal Consulting Grant uh, contract extension for Stone Shore. It's after my memo, but the first thing, it's for Ron's consulting business. And I don't know if you guys want to approve this and have um, a motion made to have the select board chair approve the contract. It's until December 30th, 31st of this year. I got so many papers here, I don't even know what you want. <laughs> so do we feel we need Ron's assistance? One of limited places, yes. Okay. So limited. Okay. So I mean, you know, like I said, he is I'm still running through his brain on the computer sure. there is still things moving forward where I can if I know I can call him to get it an yeah. answer on it's nice to happen. okay well when I in that project too okay on John Street okay yeah I I think that what it is is just so that that um we keep an eye on um and just have Ron Again, just so we've got an idea what we're spending and it's not suddenly, oh, wow, we've spent 500 hours or something, you know, to every couple of weeks or, you know, to start with how many hours it is. So we have some idea what we're spending. I just I, can I just say it out loud that can can we make sure that we're limiting this from like a contact from Brent to Ron rather than anybody else? Like Ron can only bill contacts from Brent, in my opinion. Well, and, and yes, yes, just, yeah. yes. I don't think it should be able to be anybody throughout the town, if that makes sense. And I don't want yeah. The yeah. members of the board calling him to mm -hmm. I, I think it should it should be, you know, yeah, I want I don't I think, think I don't good. think our town municipal people should be calling. So it should all go through, Brent. I agree. Yeah. 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 
yeah. If we have any questions, anybody on the board, then it goes through Brent. Yeah, because it, it gets too easy of the, well, I talked to him for 15, 20 minutes, so there's a half hour, and then there's an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So we do want to, do you need a motion on that, Jen? It's, I think if there's yeah. contract signed. Yeah. I mean, you want to sign in. Yeah, I don't want me to make a motion to have me sign it. Oh, um, I'll make a motion for Chas to sign the, uh, the Stone Shore Consulting contract. Second. Second. Awesome contract. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You're going to add a date to that? I'm sorry? So the agreement has a date on it. I don't think I'm signing this actual one. Yeah, this is, I think this is just this is the copy. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Jen, will you have an official one for me to sign? Yeah, it's on the table. I kind of put it in front of Brent. Okay. Um, okay. okay. It's got a blue flag for a signature, yep. and you will it. need a date, a date on the first page. That means there's no possibility of my $700 coming out of our phone. I couldn't understand that page. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did you see that it's basically over allocated by like a million and a half? No, <laughs> no I mean, right. it's too big, too, too much for me. It's just fine. I mean, because it's no, no possibility. I'm going home either way. <laughs> We're having a discussion <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If wait and see is a good answer. Yes, good answer. yes. Thank you. Hey, okay. thank you again. Good yeah. night. And with that motion to approve the contract or approve having you sign it or I have approved having you sign it. Okay. Yeah. So you guys already spent some money this morning or this afternoon uh, for the North Bay Park Eden Fire Station bathroom renovation. So that's gonna come out off that half a million. Um, I have some unobligated uses that um, are over expenditures that I need approval for. Matt went over the sub, um, sub recipient agreement that cost us legal fees of a, over a thousand dollars for North Hyde Park Eden Fire Department truck purchase. Um, but if we backtrack uh, the North Hyde Park Fire District number one is overspent because of advertising and legal fees. Um, if I can get a motion to cover that over expenditure. Um, I think a lot of this stuff is it's little stuff that wasn't thought about when you guys talked about um, allocating and obligating the, ex the expenditures and just little stuff that got coded to them. Just trying to cross the T's and dot the I's. <laughs> so should we do, we need a motion for each one? I think so. Well, each is a separate project yeah. and a separate obligation. So. This yeah. fire district one, what, can, can you just educate me on that? That was a, The North Lake Park? Yeah, it was from yeah. water system. The water system? Yeah, it was that whole thing I just set through last night, right? That's what that was about. Yeah, but I think it's already done because I'm going to get in the spreadsheet. I mean, this is separate, too. but this, uh, I think the same. We're talking about number one, Jim. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I think it's like the design. saying that everything has been obligated and 2603, 1480, and 1470 have already been paid or spent. Yes. So they have they have a difference of $597. Those repairs have already been done. This was like design, design work, repair. Uh, costs were unknown pressure tanks and generator. I don't know exactly all of it. It was um, 
obligated in August of 26, uh, um, 2022, excuse me. And I just paid the last one. Um, contract is fulfilled in the current warrant. Okay, so this makes sense. Okay, so we need to, do you understand that? I'm seeing it. There was an okay. or, the original cost estimate of 75,000. We obligated 32. Yeah, and it went over by 2,200. Yeah, 2,603. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be easier to look at this. So it was. Yeah, it's right and here. Then yeah. 2,300 is ready. Right. Yeah, they have that ready. Yeah. What if I said six? I was going to ask. 2,200. If we're going to make all these motions that they're ready pretty much. Jen, do you have this in a Word document, your finance memo? Yes, she does. Oh, no. It's oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you send yeah, it's in my memo. Copy yeah. and paste in there. That's different than this one. Sure. Okay, so. Well, spent obligated funds. Yeah, yeah we need to be out because, because that's what came in. If you got to make the motion, see. that's yeah. as written. Yeah. So, so yeah. started off, Savannah. Um, we're starting with numbers one. Okay. And you can do as written. All right. Number one, as written. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> um, the motion to cover the over expenditure for the fire district number one. As well. Second. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Number. Oh. Okay. Number four. Um, I make the motion to cover the over expenditure. Um, to the Highway Fiber Communications um, Tech Group for the as written. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Okay, good. I have a question about the next one. Yeah. So Elise did do the grant. Was that not approved by the, the two studies that were conducted? Oh, wait, I need a motion to cover the expenses. $3,500 for the two studies that were conducted. Okay, so wait a minute. I need to read that. You just talked about... Um, but she came here tonight and said that the study was done by her project. Right, and this is the bill for the study okay. that she was talking about. Okay, so it's not coming and out. so... The, the match. The match. Oh, the match. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. So it's a match. Okay. Yeah. I make a motion to approve. <laughs> what do I just number, uh, number five? five number, number five is screened. Yep. I'll second that. All those in favor, send it five by saying aye. 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 Good thing. Number six. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll make the motion for number six as written to cover the over expenditure of 926 for. Ryan Valley Hall. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, abstain. Okay. Relation. Number eight. I, I, oh, go ahead. What's the matter? I don't think we ever obligated any money from the Grand Valley Hall. You didn't. You guys talked about it, they had proposed, and then there were invoices associated and they were coded to ARPA funds by our previous town administrator. So, and now I'm going through it thinking I need a motion for these things and it was never obligated. The thing is, it's already we talked about it. And it's already paid. Never... What's that? It's already, already been paid. Oh, okay. Yeah. 22? No, well, that's when they asked for it. Right. No, they so were paid. It says they were paid on March 14, 2022. So she just, we're just moving that from there to there. Yes. 
it's where I struggled with that guy in Valley Hall because I felt like when they came, they would ask for money and then it just blown up. And, yeah. Well, it's $900. It's I, know. Not I know. I know. I know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> <Don't save yourself. laughs> oh, number eight. So, did you make a motion for that one? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Because it's already paid. I mean, it's. I, I'm sorry. No, I'm, you're good. I'm just. My brain process is slow. It's okay. Hey, number eight, you guys already did. At the um when North High Park Eden Fire Department right. was there. We didn't move, we didn't make a motion or anything. We just talked about it. Right. So I need a motion on number eight, please. I'll make that motion. Second. As read. I'll second that. <laughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. And number 15. So we reached the nine. So again, this is something that's already spent. This is one we've kind of agreed on. It's pretty simple. Right. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the $1,740.10 use of ARPA funds for Silver Ridge design. Second. For the two shelters. I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. <laughs> Everyone sounds so excited. Opposed, abstain. Okay. Okay, Jen. Thank you for cleaning that up. Welcome. Uh, the covering budget over expenditures, a good way to use ARPA funds um, is to fund our, um, our over expenditures in this year. Uh, like we've done with like the brine equipment, um, um, the expenses that were done to the fire um, engine recently, um, just the overspending that's happening in our budget this year, we can recover uh, easily um, and keep our um, unassigned fund balance in good position into FY25. So I have just some um, some <laughs> over expenditures for this year that I would love for you guys to just consider and be thinking about when we um, come to the end of the year, uh, when you're obligating the rest of these funds, you just might wanna be aware of where we are currently in our budget. Next month, I will be doing the third quarter financial reporting. So I'll have um, I'll have that for you guys um, to look at, and I guess um, you can either consider to make the motions here that I've presented right now, or you could think it over and next meeting decide on the rest of them. But I really appreciate you helping me clear up the last ones that were spent without. <laughs> any um, motions made, so. Yeah, I think these bigger ones we probably ought to think about and look over the list a little more. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Yeah. No, 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 no. yeah. I really think you guys should consider uh, a large portion being used for this international truck that's being purchased. It, it could really help um, with our capital equipment reserve balance, which we have a ton of capital planning that needs to happen for a new grader, a couple new trucks. Um, definitely. Sure. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't have to decide on it tonight, but um, Mark and Brent and I are supposed to be sitting down and looking at the capital plan. We're just waiting for weather to permit. So that's on the horizon. Okay, great. So then we can get an update on that too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. And then, uh, Matt, since you're sitting there, do you think I could get um, I an up on update two. on on rec oh, yeah number two the oh rec that remaining amount was discussed to finish the basketball court or paved basketball court. Uh, I did get a couple quotes for people, and then I just had to talk with Steve to whether we were allowed to pay the spot if they're not. Okay, 
So you're looking to leave that there. What's that? You're looking to leave that there. Yeah. And do you think a work will be completed before the end of this year? Yeah, yeah I'd be done in like June or July. So it's okay. going be inside the playground area. So it'll finish the, like half the playground area is just still on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, Steve is connecting with Justin on picking up number 10 on the, on the big spreadsheet. It was a public records upload approved zoning permits to town website. Thought I'd just give you guys an update on that. Steve and Justin talked and I have not... date. Um, so Stephen did some math on that. Let me know yesterday that based on everything that was that? but based on the quotes um that he did himself, like how much time it's going to take, he said it'd be about four and a half years that it would take him to get through that whole project. So kind of maybe not. But Whoa. We'll talk more. Okay. Number 13, that's yours, Savannah, ain't it? Mm -hmm. mm. No, for the number 17. No, 13 is the that's that's the yeah. planning commission shed out here. Yeah. yeah. Didn't we talk about putting gutters on it? Should we yep, look at we that six hundred dollars for that? Okay. I'll work on that. In 17, we just reallocated. Well, okay. kind of. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. why Allie's here. Okay, perfect. So we can wait or we can go back, whatever. <laughs> what do we need to do? So, um, so Allie, the quote that I got was for all the stuff, not for install. Ah, it's so sweet, you know, like we talked about contractors and stuff like that, but you know. You know, in my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be in there. No, I did not verbally convey that to Savannah when we talked the other day. Okay. She sent me the thing. So install would be putting up a fence, putting in the door, and then uh, like raking the stone out. Because, I mean, I love y'all, but I, I'm not a handyman. <laughs> so, yeah. And I talked to um, Terry, the end of the day, uh -huh. on the way down. I was like, pop, give me like an idea of like, well, you would charge to do something like this. And he said, it'd probably take anywhere between, you know, six to eight hours, raking stone, putting the fence up and doing the door, $30 an hour. You're, it's less than 500 bucks. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. so yeah. And then we I'm pretty sure me and Dean put up a sign. What did we, did we do the total? 4690 is what we need to do. For, and that's for all the stuff. Yeah. Not the... <laughs> Sure. Not the install, yeah. right? But give me a little more for contingency, just in case price changes. Well, you thing. said that's where we're okay, right? You that's sure what, we're okay? That's what he's saying. He wants to go. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're right. Right. I'm, I'm, no, you're not. Is <laughs> people need to pay attention. Yeah. This isn't our money, right? I need a quote. Yeah. Okay. So if you got any man that yep. can do it for you, get your just, just let him know what you need him to do. Yep. Yeah. And then if he can write a quote. We can move on. From Perfect. That. No problem at all. Yep. Doing that. No problem at all. Trying to better it, make it easier for you and In everybody event. else, especially when we get to the interlocal agreement stage. Yeah. Other towns would be, probably be more. Yeah. Right. They're going to want to see willing to buy this because better. y'all have done your work. Yeah. Okay. So can we have her? No. <laughs> <laughs> can we have Ali moving forward with getting the stuff and then? We'll come back and do the fence install of that stuff at the next meeting when she has the quote for that. That's the other because we've approved forty six ninety. So right. she can buy the door and she can do Absolutely. that and then just yeah get the handy or get all that stuff together yeah. afterwards. Okay, no so question. Waiting till end of April to do it install. Yeah, because I think we're not leave. gonna yeah we're not gonna get the leads by then and all that. I would imagine. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then just need the quotes. Yes. Who's picking up the materials? That can't be fixed. 
If he's going to do all the work, if he wants to I add a fee for transportation, perfect. As long as he puts cost, you're working 34 hours a day. So no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, coal and lumber will deliver for no additional charge. Yeah. So I'm not sure like who you're going through. Yeah. This, right. But something yes. Something. Yes, there's something like the fence panels, they're 10 feet long. Yeah, and they don't come from Google, unfortunately. Yeah. Is there anything that the town I was just say that that's what I, I was actually, We have used them in the past, and they are good. Yeah, I think yeah. that, yeah. Okay, I was getting there. Well, I was just saying, if, yeah. if she went to yep. it, <laughs> it had better yeah. prices compared to yeah. yeah. If, if you wanted to do the added charge, then that is so just. Don't worry, I'm a broken shoulder. Right. So we're good? Yes. Ooh, yes. We're good. Okay. Thank you we're very good. much. Thank you. Are, are you good? I'm good. Okay. I, I was having a freak out moment when she texted me. I was like, oh my God, I forgot that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And she's coming in. So sorry, Jen. We got sidetracked. Um so I'll get the gutters on 13. Okay. I'll I'll work on that. Okay. Um 17 is the we're good is on that. the shed we just earned. Yeah. Yep. Kim verified this project's complete. Do we need a motion to reallocate the 20 public record one? Do we need do we need to vote to move these funds back into the ARPA funds, the, the underspending? How does that work? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. But we just need to obligate them before the end. Of gotcha. Okay. 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 What's our deadline, Jen? Give us a drop dead deadline. When you want us to um, I'd like to things all like obligated by like October. Um that way it gives us a little bit of time to if things have to if they spill over into next year, we have time to do the legal um sub recipient agreements that need to be in place. Um Ideally, hopefully a huge chunk of it's going to go towards our over expenditures in our current year budget. <laughs> um, okay. I really think our budget process needs to be looked at this uh, this next time around. Okay. We can work on that. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on there, Jen? <laughs> No, if you guys can just uh, approve the warrants, I'd be happy so I can pay bills tomorrow. And thank you guys for your time tonight. Did you guys all look at the warrants? Okay. Can I have a motion to? I'll make a motion to approve the warrants. Uh, second. I'll second that. All those in favor, so we have to say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, abstain. Holiday. I thought we did too. Yeah. yeah. There was a stuff by the emotion. Oh, okay. I thought we did. Did we agree to have the day off? We did, right? Or to no, we're the school whenever they yeah. decide to take off. That's that's right. Right. And I think schools decided today to close, didn't they? Lamoille South did. Okay. Lamoille well, South is canceling. Yeah. I got the email. Oh, Lamoille North has not canceled yet. Oh, okay. Lamoille well, South, we yeah. got it today. So we'll we'll be soon to follow. Probably. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. So then we should just have a motion to follow to, with the schools for the holiday. A specific school? Uh, Lamoille. For the Eclipse. High Park. Our district. Right. Yeah. I can't make a motion, but <laughs> I'll make that motion. <laughs> Second. Second. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. 
Okay, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, select board projects and updates. Goals and discussion. Anybody have anything to offer? I, I see. I, I'm gonna say I don't know if it's gonna make it like I appreciate like what Jen just did. That was that was one of my big things that I was bringing up, like the budget stuff and the closeout stuff. But it's good to actually have a real conversation about it. I feel like when I first got here, we never talked about anything and it was always reactive instead of proactive. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've talked about this for the last three years. It would be nice to have some type of connect with, with our DRB board and us. We are, we're so disconnected and never hear what they're doing or the only way I get to there is by reading online. So. Mm -hmm. I'd like to maybe make that connection. A little more. Yep. Yep. Um, I'd like to figure out, I mean, obviously we control a budget, but between now and next year, it'd be nice to not have a 6% budget increase. So if we can control that, we can control that. That'd be a hard thing. Because <laughs> if everything goes up, I mean, when the fund is not going to stop. <laughs> is there... <clears throat> Is there anything, since Jen's on, is there anything specific or more that you'd like from her or different that you'd like from her? Jen's killed it. Right. I agree with that. Yep. I, I wouldn't mind a report from Stephen once a month. Oh, yeah. We Or from yeah. Brent, you know, it can I'm come. I know I'm including that in, into the Friday. And I, I, again, he doesn't work for us. He works for the DRB board, but I have no clue what he has approved, what he has worked yeah. on, what he hasn't worked on. You I can don't request an update for our meetings. Well, Even if it's just a, like a memo. I, I can right? tell you, we, we've been a dartboard for a lot of decisions that are made on that side. So it's just nice to be in the, in the know. Yeah. Well, technically under the proposed uh, organizational chart, we are, I'm supposed to supervise it. Yeah. But that was the proposed. It hasn't been finalized by them. Okay, so we could, you know, even if it's just a memo. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it doesn't have to be. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and maybe that's a DRB board thing too, but I, I don't just. Yeah. No. Keep it coming, Matt. What else you want? I would like to make sure that we finalize our ARPA obligations by October. <laughs> I'd like to do it before October. But, so when Jen said October, I was thinking more like July, I think, August, sir. but yeah. <laughs> Um, it, so let's really put, let's try to start yeah. really looking at that so we can. On the rec committee side, when I, I mean, before I was always, so now that I can work with Jen, she can help me and Ron, or, and for one of the things that Ron, it was, I never really, like that money ended up getting spent, but, and then coming out of different budgets and I had to come back and ask for unassigned fund balance. So I just got to make sure that I, I, I'll do it on the rec side, but I got to ask if that's approved to spend that money the items that you want to finish the later. Yeah. So okay. Okay. Um training, how'd your training go? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a lot. Uh, one of the questions was can we way back when I I don't know we talked about moving the meetings to once a month and yeah. they suggested not doing emails in between. So like say something came up don't say, you know, either special, uh, do a special meeting, but don't, because then it can just go anywhere. Yep. So don't do the emails for to hot topics. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Did they, what was, did people, do a lot of people do once a month? Did you get a sense for that? No, it's all over the place. Oh, was it? And some okay. people are four hours once a week. And I was like, you're kidding me. No. Yeah. At, at the end, they were saying how many hours and once a week, every other week. But most people are three hours usually is what we got the consensus. Three hours a month. Or no, no, three hours, three hours a meeting. Three hours a meeting. Okay. Whether it's every other week or, or two times a month or every week or once a month. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Usually what I experienced too. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and then the other point they said is don't have your email on your personal email. Have it through the town if anything ever got called back or if you leave getting those emails. And if they do currently go to your email and you're not interested in that, just forward them to your new town email and delete the old ones. As long as there's that paper trail that you forwarded them, you should be good. Okay. So for those of you, for those of you that don't have a town email and you want one, I Brent, I think you could contact Dave Beware and have that set up. Yeah, he got me one today. Okay, good. I went You're welcome, in. Kim. <laughs> yeah, I, I came in to see him on Monday, so he got me that. Yeah, we got it squared. And Kim, the um, select board um, handbook is uh, active online again. They got it reworking. They got it back online on Monday or on Yay! Saturday. I'll print those for you. Well, it's it's all digital, and they said it's they're always changing it, so it's probably oh, okay. To access it online. Oh, Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Manual. Um, they they relaunched everything on Saturday during the training. So every time they were wanting to show something, they're like, "Oh, well, the website's not working. Oh, well, the website's not working." And then during lunch, they, <laughs> during lunch, every they launched everything. Okay, so um, that is up in March. Okay. We should probably talk about this. We should. Um, yeah, get it over here. Yeah. yeah. Don't back up to explaining it a little bit. That was right. So as you can see, we have the proposal for the reappraisal of the town. <laughs> the town that's we've reviewed the proposals um at the meeting. There was the one for Nimrick for the townwide full townwide reappraisal for one sixty nine two hundred. There was a partial reappraisal just to do the utilities from a place that starts with an S on New Hampshire. It's in that pack over there. Um, we'll part it down with the. Oh, right yeah, there. That one. But that's just the utility reappraisal. Um, we didn't go through it very much, but the listeners are so not interested, and I wasn't really interested either. And Tyler Technologies and responded said that they're not available. And Vermont Municipal Assessor responded said that they're not available. So we have four replies, two quotes, one for a poll. And we looked at the, the town budget. Um, we, so far, we have 114,228 in the um, reappraisal fund, and there's an increase from fiscal year 22 to 23 of $16,423. So correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Kim or Jen, but I believe that's all from, that 16000 was from the state. I believe so. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is for 2028, and they would start in July of 2026. So we'll get more yeah. money. Two years. Right, two years more of money right. into that reserve. So we'll yeah. be close to covering it. Is yeah. That understanding? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. There, I have to review this one more, but they did mention. They're, they may want um, the town to purchase some type of software. I'm not sure if that's in this. See anything about that? No oh, expenses. Oh. Uh, Purchase the town be responsible for expenses relative to the purchase of computer hardware and software and all necessary license and manuals for use by this. But don't we have stuff to do that? Or? We do. I mean, we get it from Limerick, but they're not real great about getting us the updates. Justin, have you got that commercial update yet? I have not, you have not. but <laughs> I did get in contact with Todd, worked on it, got the project to Chris, and 
So it's on the radar. Okay. Well, it should be. Yes. Yes. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm thinking we should be okay with. Okay. If if we get what we're supposed to be getting already, we'll be okay. Gotcha. It's just hounding them. Right. I mean, they're, I think they're a good firm. Kim had issues last time we talked about that. I think we've got that cleared away, but they know the town high firm because yeah. they've done it. This will be the third time that Ed Kohlfelder has done it for the town. Oh, it'll be the same gentleman? Yeah. Oh. And he's the head of Prince. Oh. Okay. So, and I'm thinking there's two of his employees that were here the last time, Jason and can think the other one is. Um, so that because they know the town. Yep. So. Okay. okay. Um, and our hands are tied. We have much to choose from. Exactly. You know, and we figured we better book them now when we can, so they're not booked and we have no one. Yeah. Okay. So we for out we need to approve this quote or yeah let them know their month or uh, let them know. I recommend I nothing there to cover it for that reason. Mm -hmm. I recommend the motion to um go with memory and then they'll send an agreement. Then we can agree the agreement from there. Okay, I'll make the motion to go with memory and wait for the agreement. Okay, second. Second to me. All those in favor, so we have a saying aye. 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 Sustain. Mm -hmm. On website, I saw Jen wrote something in her finance book about that. Uh, yeah, so Elisa Clancy talked about redesigning the town website. She estimated it would take the four to six months to redesign about four thousand dollars um i have a webinar with civic plus on april 9th uh to see what kind of services they can offer us town of morrisville just recently went with them if you have a chance to look at their website it's really great um they said that it's a multi-year contract starting with four thousand dollars and then four thousand Every year after, I asked for a copy of the contract to see if I could like look at it and see what services are offered, um, but I didn't get one. Okay. Um, so mm -hmm. I figured I would reach out to them and see. Uh, every one of us touches the town website, uh, employee wise, like in town administration, on like almost a daily, if not, or weekly, if not daily basis. So I think it would be a really great investment for us and there's pluses and minuses to having Elisa do it for us uh so just want to explore our options uh Kim said she might have another um website design um company name recommendation Jen, yeah I was at a training these last two days down in Massachusetts and I talked to about a half a dozen people, including Sarah Haskins from Morrisville. And there were a lot of people that had that Civic Plus website and they all love it. Um, one of the features that you and I were talking about, um, like sending out emails in regards to um, agendas and minutes and newsletters and whatever, Civic Plus has a feature that's very similar to what you and I talked about. Awesome. Well, I've got a webinar on the 9th and I'll let everybody know how it goes. Hopefully okay. that's, that's reassuring news. Um, I, I guess I would like for you guys to consider it. Um, and then Elisa got us some really beautiful, um, photographs from Gerald Smith, who said he would give them to us to use as long as we give him photo credit. So that'll be on the horizon hopefully you guys are okay with me looking into it and see it as a benefit to our our town great cool thank you anything else um the select board member structure and responsibilities so oh, we did not talk about that skip right over that and i'll go on over the Select board member goals more. Um, I think it's nice to hear from the other members like what you would like to accomplish in this one year, and then the next step would be to how we got to do that. 
I know Sabina is working on the with the dogs and the undergrad community who helped out with the notepad park last night and kind of overall scope. So did you guys already, are you continuing to do the liaison stuff? Like, is there a liaison to the highway, a liaison to the library? Absolutely. Have you guys already done that? That's, that's a map. I don't want to do that. We have another okay. night. We need to do that. Every year, right? No, we didn't do it last year. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. Yeah, because she was new. And we made her liaison of the EMT, not the fire department. And we changed because we changed the role one from. Did we decide not to do that? I wasn't the other but no. Yeah, you were guy on ballot. <laughs> no, that was the year before. That was the year yeah. before. I, I don't. I don't think we've done anything with liaisons. Favorite yeah. We didn't do it last year. We decided not to. You might have still been kind of doing it. Is it something we want to do? I got what, two text messages tonight asking who the liaison on the fire department is. <laughs> and maybe we need to. <laughs> I just call and complain. Well, then maybe we need to do I When I first started, I was put on the Joint Economic Development Board. That was all I was given. Okay, well, we won't talk about the past. Let's talk about the future. So do we want liaisons? I think it's always a good idea. Okay. Here's what I'll say about it. It's a good idea. I hate when one person has the information and then like it ends up it ends up putting us on the spot later on. So I don't mind being a liaison. I don't mind. I just I have a hard time when I have to go meet with we'll say the fire department and they want to vent or Sometimes it's they get, always been sometimes be real. sometimes material yeah. gets misconstrued by the time it gets to mm -hmm. there to here. And I thought that's why we stopped. Yeah. So in their meeting in the thing on Saturday, they said one town person is not like like you could have this liaison, but you it's not cannot control the yeah. fire department. Correct. You cannot control yeah. the library. So they were saying like right. that's one thing. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a valid concern. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I've just seen it, you know, like especially. Yeah. If I may add to that, um so Chas and I are going to meet once a week just to go over the agenda, like updates, et cetera. I'm hoping to meet with the select board members um, once a month, the Tuesday prior to the select board meeting or two Tuesdays prior to the select board meeting. So we can go over the draft agenda so far individually, but we'll go over the draft agenda so far, any additions, questions, et cetera. Well, so, I kind of feel like the liaison should all be always be the town administrator. You know, first complaint should hit there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It'd be nice because it hasn't been happening. Yeah. But that's what I mean, because they shouldn't, I mean, if, if, like, we are supposed to be, if he's not doing his job, they come to us. Correct. Yeah. 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 But if any of these groups have issues, shouldn't they just be invited in to discuss the yes. board? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would they love that. That's what yes. we would like. Oh, to, yeah, because is right. Is that not no. Well, and if it's, if it's daily, yeah. if, well, if it, no. if it if it's if it's daily, if it's, da if it's well, I can see where it's a month, but it should like if it's a daily concern, it should go here first, right. and then if it needs to be addressed, he could call a special meeting. If, if it's something, yes, mm -hmm. and then they have a total right to come before the select board and say, "I've been trying to get a hold of Brent, and he hasn't done anything." And if they look directly to me, and that puts me on the spot, am I doing my job? Right. Yeah, right. But if you don't give me the opportunity to fix it. Right. And you come to them, yeah. They're just gonna come back to me saying right. Brittany, you need to fix it. So let's let's and that, that comes down that comes down to that proactive right. Right. That, that proactive versus reactive, because that's what I feel like. I feel like a lot of times 100%. that's where we, we're getting hit. It's like, well, yeah. Okay. Well, there's been a lot of a lot of it And unfortunately, yeah. you know, with with the transition, I understand yeah. with Ron doing other things, he wasn't here. So therefore they were taking advantage of it. Now that I'm here, I'm still seeing the avoidance. And it'd be nice that it was structured that way to give me an opportunity to do my job for the for the betterment of the community. Yep. So it takes some time for them to realize that. Well, it's been two months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we haven't really physically uh, talked about it and brought it forward. And I think that as that is a great idea. So maybe it's just a letter yeah. to all of the groups saying exactly that 
that you're not yeah. doing the liaison, but that Brent is your contact person. Um, please feel free to call mm -hmm. him when you need to. Yeah. If you're not getting what you want from Brent, then, then, the, then, then that's positive. Then that is positive. Yes, my door is open. Like, like I know you boys heard Justin, your, yeah. your points are no. Yeah. I'm here Monday through Friday and right. my door is open because right. that is my responsibility as the their town administrator. Yeah. I just I'm not going to take and choose while I talk right. to you, but I like it or not, I right. still have to respect right. their concern, their wishes. That's right. I yeah. think that got lost. It did. Yep. It, it, that's what it I did. Yeah. yeah, it really did. Not knocking anybody. No, yeah, no, 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 me neither. No, but but it, looking it, forward and setting the rear view, we had, right. this is the great structure. It's the time to hit the reset. And I think that's no, great. No, in three months of we're having this discussion, then you're going to have a TikTok town administrator saying, I've been here. <laughs> and then I can point them out. You not once have came to me to discuss this. Okay. Exactly. And that is totally inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. I think they need to just be told. Oh, I, and, I've been well, told the same breath. No, I know. can't do that because that's from Texas. Can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Like the snow thing. <laughs> So it's I the think first time I've seen him smile. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that that's so that's I, a fair, I, and that's what I, I mean. I process it, and I don't want to be. I don't want to be a point of contact to where I'm ever put right. myself in a situation where I, it's me versus them. It, that is it. It's what has happened the past couple of weeks? And then I think I think we write the structure. If you're not if you're not receiving the what you want for attention, then you have the option of coming to the select board or calling the chair. Right. Yeah. Ask to get on the agenda and come before all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So discuss it. Yeah. But yeah. But goes to Brent first. Goes to Brent yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously you then reach out to it's, us if needed. Right. And I'll discuss it with y'all. Exactly. And if it needs to be brought before y'all, then that's that's what's gonna happen. That, again, that is y'all's job. Right. And, you know, I did my job presenting it to you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like that plan. Okay. So just tell them when they call you. Yeah. I'll respond to my text messages right here. Yeah. Sounds like, <laughs> exactly. well, perfect. Okay. Um, What else did you mention? Matt? I feel like you mentioned something else besides liaisons just for, before that conversation went crazy. Uh, liaisons and your, excuse me, DRB updates. Um, and I'll get with Stephen on I didn't mean so yep. I apologize, but I will get with Stephen on it because I will start getting y'all a week in little note. And yeah. I'll try to bring that in yep. presentation and then I will start establishing something for the select work package. Okay. Because I'm going to still some of his 28 hour a week pay. I'll take it out. I mean, do we want, I know we've, this has kind of always been an issue with what the highway is doing and where they're at and things and people are coming to us wondering when they're going to do this project or ditch this road or grade this road. Do we want anything from highway or I've already requested that me and Mark get together on a bi-weekly update. Oh, perfect. So okay. I can submit it to y'all so you have okay. a little heads up what's been accomplished, what has sort of set, has set us back. Okay. So if you are, you know, when are they say corner, our excavators the corner, at least you know, <laughs> you, then I give you the tools to say, give them a, a, a rough answer so that I don't know. Right. Okay. So we can, we can work on that. Okay. So I'll get with Mark on that. Okay. I mean, obviously, right now it's not a lot going on, but in summertime, spring, summer, spring, spring summer, summer people. Summer. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? You guys can think of? Matthew? Okay. I'm happy. What? Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Any other things on your little notes there? Well, uh, uh, our meetings will be at five thirty now. Make sure everyone's. In oh yeah, that. are you guys good with five thirty? So then. Yeah, that was discussed. I thought this one was. It was, was, but you weren't here, and it, we didn't really make it official, so I didn't want to change it yet. But is are you good with getting here at five thirty? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
You love it? Yeah. Okay. So I don't necessarily love it, but I'll I'll find time for it. I mean, it doesn't matter. No time's good in the summertime. I know. I, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll be Justin and I, when Justin and I talked, when we were making this agenda and trying to get it a little more structured and better on the timing, um, but I think him meeting with you guys to kind of prep before the meeting, because I know, Matt, you've mentioned in the past, sometimes you feel like you're not necessarily as prepared as you'd like to be. Right. Um, and I know meeting with Justin helped me a lot. So I think, you know, especially because we're meeting once a month. That if we're a little more prepared, then maybe these meetings will be quicker. Right. I, you know, um, so yeah. we can see how that goes. And, and like, like when we send the staff package, it's good to have the agenda, but just the description of, of like a backstory, you know, and that comes from him, you know, like there was a lot of agendas that come into a password, it's just the agenda, and I didn't get a staff package where it was like, okay, yeah. so I know Deanna's coming. But I don't know what she's gonna yell at me for. Right. right? So, yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. You know, right. and then then you're, you're no, no, I'm not, I I just use you as an excuse. But you know, like so then I'm standing here and you know, what I tell I've been to the chats about it's just you're here and you're in the moment and it's like an emotional decision exactly. versus an educated or an experienced decision. And then like people walk out the door and you're like, did we just do the right service? But yeah. ah, shit, didn't get time to process that. Where I'd like to be able to read it. A week ahead of time or whatever and say all right i can do my research get my feels right yeah yeah and i think that's kind of what justin's plan yes. was it, thinking that that would it, it's already getting help. better like the time on the agenda kind of gives us a rough idea of where it should be at yeah, yeah. you folks on um, open and available relatively on like the second or third tuesday for a phone call 15 minutes half an hour um, has to be active at a certain time for any of you. Work. No. <laughs> I get done Johnson at four as assessor. So I hop on phone like 4.15, 4.30 and make my way around. Start with Savannah because he's usually open right now. I am not have to make and anything work. Nicole, you good for 4.35? Yeah. Yeah. No. You'd be at the five. Eight people. See that class. See the best. Can you skip? Oh yeah. <laughs> so you might be fine. She doesn't even know what to say, Susan. <laughs> you were last. <laughs> like you before Matt or after? Like after five or before five? She's on the talk. Susan. Yeah, I don't. I'm not looking. I can't. I can't add. I'm not looking at a calendar. I can't answer the question. <laughs> There's a Tuesdays, right? Yeah. I got it. It means it's 23rd, so I think probably the, the 9th or the 16th. I, I don't how much time. I can't. Got. Just let me let me check in with you later, and I'll tell you when I can do it. Sounds good. I can be flexible with that. Yeah. And if you'd like, I can draft up a letter in the minute for the powers that be to let them know that Brian's their point of contact. Maybe that should come from me. And if you want, and I can put on or well, uh, social media, like front porch forum, Facebook, could be a newsletter too. Just, hey, this is how we're doing things now. Yeah. Talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anything else? No, I don't think we need to. I think you can put it on there just in case something okay. comes up. But anything in executive sessions? You know, everything that yeah. we have to deal with it. Um, training updates just April 17th from 10 to 11.30. It's recommended that the select board members attend the open meeting law training. Um, you may, if you, you two attended the last ones, you may not have to, but I think we got idea to cover more. To be honest, they were like, just go to the website. Like anytime you ask a question, they were just like, yeah. go read it on the website. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> it's on our website. It's on our website. You can find it in the resources on our website. Yeah. I was like, okay. When was that one? April 17th, what? Um, from 10 to 11 30. Okay. But it's pretty like easy on the website. It's like a paragraph. Like it's not oh. a long like statues or anything like you can get there if you want to. 
but it's like you can't you can go into the PowerPoint too if you'd like to see that. You can't go into executive to just talk about the uh, role, you know, some uh, personal, but I'm um, personal, but you just can't go in there and talk about mm -hmm. something. So there's the like it just makes a sentence that says this is what you can and can't do. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, I know you like sets of setup. Paper. Cool. You want, how do you feel about the paper that we're using? You want less paper somehow? You want to have tablet still? So you can just review. I got to be honest, I have the paper. And so I don't bring my tablet because you're going to need paper anyway. But I could bring my tablet. I could re see it all on there. No. I need paper because no. I don't okay. have the same I, way I can see it. I hate the tablet. So, and I like the paper because I make notes. Yeah, I do too. I'm still old school. Yeah, I, and I, and I bring them home and I stuff them in my thing. Yeah, me too. So I know it's probably going to be probably going to cost. It's probably, it's probably going to cost. It's probably going to love it. It's probably <laughs> going to, I would say, it's probably going to cost us $275 in paper and ink a month, but it's, I know. I'll honest, I can well, see it. Just keep right. Because like, I do like, it especially the tablet. Like, what happened was the tablet, like, especially when rolling out, like, I'd be swinging through. I mean, what, yeah. what page is this? And I'm, I missed half of what we're communicating because I'm literally flipping, and then I feel like you don't have my undivided attention too. So then it's yeah. I think it's my age is why I I I still I can write down a date to the meeting, have it done, and everybody else is on their phones trying to do it, and there's we're still sitting there waiting. Hotel, <laughs> but, well, then they're checking six text messages, and yeah, right. oh, we're just gonna need help. So, I mean, uh, it'd be really small on my phone, so no, paper's gonna. Do you, you want my tablet? You want my you want my town tablet? I'll, I'll she got she'll have one next week. I've never even turned it on. I think since oh. the last three months, or the first three months. I do use mine, but okay. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> no, I have this. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I second that. Right on schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You did great. Good job. I did not do yes, that. Yes, you did. Oh my God. So.